How are you? <laughs> I'm great. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, you are from where? India. Oh, wonderful, beautiful country. Yeah. Yes, a beautiful country. Nice to meet you. Um, and to, I am to call you Queens, Principal? My name is Tahin. Uh, oh, okay. It's my, it's my email ID, and I'm oh. able to change the name on ID. I tried yesterday, <laughs> but I couldn't. Oh, that's okay. No problem. No problem. Uh, nice to meet you. You have a beautiful smile. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I love it. You look you look like my family. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yes, yes. So, um, have you been on Cambly for a long time? Uh, a third day on Cambly. Oh, this good. Yeah, I have a site. Okay, okay. How do you like it so far? Uh, I uh, watched some videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I thought that uh, I'll record some videos and I'll learn uh, something from you guys, uh, different people, different accents. <laughs> yes. It's a, uh, it's a good opportunity to meet people and interact with them. Yes, yes. Um, uh, can you tell my accent? Can you? Uh, it's British accent. Hmm? Can you? It's a British accent. Uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> American, American. American. Uh huh. But I live in Europe. I live in Europe now. Okay. But I'm American. Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, uh, mm -hmm. your name and uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from um, America, and uh, my name is Maria. And um, but I live in Hungary now. I live in the country of Hungary. I will put it here for you. Maybe you have heard of it, but I live in Hungary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hungary. Mm -hmm. About okay. two and a half hours outside of Budapest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The city of, I'm in the country. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm in the country. Great. Yeah. Yes. Great. Yes, indeed. Do you live in the city? Uh, no, uh, it's like uh, uh, not exactly village or country, but uh, same. Oh, the same. Okay. Not okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. We. I live in a population um, of about mm, maybe twenty thousand people. Okay, I'm in a population of forty thousand. Okay, for you're a bit. You're a little bit bigger than I am. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Well, it's so nice to meet you. Um, what would you like to do today? Would you like to uh, free talk or would you like uh, us to find a lesson? Uh, I want to learn today uh, word stress. Like uh, when uh, a word is used as a noun, we stress the first part or first uh, syllable of the word. When we use same word as a verb we use to uh, stress the second syllable of the word. Okay. So I want to study. So let's look in the library. Um, uh, I have prepared my a few sentences. Oh, I'll, okay. Uh, okay. Try, uh, All right. You're yeah. smart. Okay. 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 All right. So you you can begin. Go ahead. I'm wrong. Correct. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Uh. Uh, first, I'll start from decrease, decrease, De decrease, uh, we use as a noun, and decrease as a verb. Decrease. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Decrease. You are, really, you are invisible now. Can you see me? No, I think the net connection is not good. Mm. It's all right. Uh. Can you see the word? Is that the word you're talking about? Decrease? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, okay. So, um, would you like for me to um, give some examples? 
I'll give you first example. Okay. And in the remaining time, you give me some examples. Okay, as a, uh, as a as noun. noun uh, I'll give you an example. As the value of the stock decreased, we notice a decrease in revenue. Mm -hmm. Did you get Yes, it? as the value of the stock decreased, yes, we noticed a we noticed a decrease in the revenue. Revenue. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is it, is it correct? Okay, so that is um, used as a verb. Yeah, first, first I use as a uh -huh. verb, and then I use um, um, repeat it one more time. Repeat it again. Yeah, sure. Uh, as the value of the stock decreased, we notice the decrease in revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay. As this is your sentence, I think as we noticed the value of the stock decrease. 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 Uh huh. It's a noun. Stock decrease. We notice a de decrease in revenue. Uh huh. Is that the is that the right sentence there that you see on the chat? Look at your chat. Is that right? Yes. Yes. As we notice the value of the stock decrease. Okay. Okay. My second sentence, uh, second word is increase. When we use as a noun, we say increase. And when you use it as a verb, we say increase. Am I right? Yes, that's fine. That is good. Yes. Okay. I'll give you an example. Okay. The employees expect some increase in wages. The employees expect some, the employees expect some increase. Uh, in their in, in wages. wages, yes. Wages. Uh huh. Wages. And uh, uh, second example as a verb uh, that would increase the value of house. Uh, to increase the uh, to increase the the value of a house. Yes. Is that your second? That would increase the value of. Uh huh. House. Uh huh. Here I use it as a okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any more? Uh, third example. Yeah, yeah, I have prepared the few. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll Very teach. good. Okay. You, you teach me from your side. Okay. Uh, present, present. Um, first example, we forgot to bring her birthday present. And the second sentence, I use it as a verb. You need to present yourself better. Right. The first is present like a gift. Yes. Right. Present and present. Right. Exactly. I agree. Yes. Keep going. Any more? Yeah. I, I have Wonderful. Oh, yes. You're ready today. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Object and object. Right. First one is the noun. Uh, there was a strange growing object about the stage. And the second, as a verb, if you object to our decision, you need to suggest alternative. Right. The first is a thing, an object. Yes, the first is a thing, an object. And yes, the second is a verb, like you do not agree. I object. Yes. Okay? Uh, reject. Reject. Uh, first example as a noun, our football players are all rejects from other teams. Uh, the next example as a verb, my boss will probably reject our team. Yes, yes, yes. I, I just want to confirm that my stress on that particular word. Uh-huh, yes. Um, uh, say the first sentence again and I will repeat it, the one about the team. Okay. Our football players are all rejects yes. from our yes. team. Yes. Our football players are all rejects. Yes, that's right. And the second sentence, and I will repeat it for you. 
Okay. Okay, this oh, and the I second didn't... sentence of reject, what was the second sentence? My boss will probably reject our situation. Right. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Yes, our boss will probably reject our authorization. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. Then uh, then my next uh, word is contract and contract. Contract? Contract, contract. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. Would you, okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, my example is they signed the contract yesterday. Uh, it was as a noun, and now, uh, now I'm using as a verb. The villagers may contract the virus by drinking water from right exactly yes um uh and i uh, and i yes um we signed the first one as a noun uh we signed the contract yeah. for all parties to agree and number two um um everyone in the world the villagers Right. Everybody, everyone in the world is afraid of contracting <laughs> the virus. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, because these are like uh, means a synonym. The spelling is the same, but pronunciations are different, and it changes the meaning. Yes, that's it. right. And it, it it all depends on how you use it in a sentence, and like you said, the emphasis yeah. that you put on the word. Any more? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Conflict as a noun and conflict as okay. a verb. I'll give you an example. Do you have any idea what's causing the conflict? Mm -hmm. And next, as a verb, the neighbor's story conflicts with the story that you hear. Right. That's right. Well done. Yes, you've done your homework very well. Yes, indeed. Very well done. Yes. Okay. Next. Any more? <laughs> uh, next is uh, produce and seduce. Right. Produce as a noun and seduce as a verb. Examples are, first example as a noun, there is a lot of fresh produce available at the market. And the second example as a verb, can you produce any evidence that shows your Exactly. Yes. That's right. Well done. Yes. Okay. My next my next one is project as a noun and right. As a right. Noun. Right. Um uh, example as a noun. Do you know if they are received government funding for their right. project? Uh, next as a verb. During the celebration in community, project their historical photos. Yes, yes. And you can also use project another way. Um, do you think you can project the future of this company? You know, uh, that's another way, project. Like foresee in the, you know, uh, like in the uh, future. Uh, uh, in the future means like... Uh, um, but, um, do you project that? Do you project that we will have a good predict? Means you, you are predicting. Right, you are predicting right, about right, community. right. Yeah. Prediction. Right. Yes. Okay. My next word is uh, record and record. Record as a noun and record as a uh -huh. verb. Yes. Okay. Uh, my first example as a noun, do you keep a record, record of number of that, uh, number of the visit this place? Right. Uh, and uh, second example as a verb, you need to visit the police station so they can record. record right. Exactly. That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, record. And right. Record. Exactly. So f that's very good. That's right. Uh -huh. My next, next the word is refuse and refuse. First one is a noun, refuse, and second, work, refuse. Okay. 
uh, my first example as a noun. He runs a business that collects refuse from local cafe. And my another example as a verb, the protesters are refused to exit the building. They refused to exit the building. Yes, yes, yes. They refuse. Mm -hmm. They refuse to. You can yeah. You can say they refuse to. They refuse to exit the building, or you can say they refused ed to exit uh, the building. Either way, okay. That's fine. That's good. That's very good. Uh huh. Okay. Teach me from your side. No. Um. You're doing very well. I mean, uh, uh, your verbs are on your your verbs versus your nouns are are on point. Um, start with the first two. The first um, words that you gave me. What was the first? Um, word and I will give you some examples. Decrease, decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the decrease was shown in the apparent loss of revenue. Okay. The decrease was shown. So Second, as a verb, you could say um, there was a steady decrease in the amount of revenue for the project. Okay. Okay, second one. What was the second one? Uh, I'll give you another dessert. And dessert and des okay. Uh, now that's a little tricky because, well, maybe you probably know. Let's see what you know. One is a place and one is dessert, is a food. A dessert yeah. as a sweet, we sweet we have right. often mean. And dessert is like uh, that uh, Saudi Arabia sand right. and all that kind right. of Right. So I dessert mm, and dessert. Yeah, we say dessert as a um, food, dessert, and we Finish. say desert yeah. as a place. Dessert yeah. as a food, desert as a place. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Okay, I have subscribed uh, family for uh, a long time for three months, and uh, I'm planning for IELTS, but I just thought for a few days I'll talk to uh, different teachers, and uh, when I like some teachers, particular three or four teachers, then I'll uh, uh, take my class, IELTS classes with them. So, can you tell me a little bit about how to use Camly and uh, how to get the lesson, or should I prepare before, or uh, can I uh, directly ask for the teachers? Because I thought that it's a half an hour and it's not uh, enough uh, for the teacher to teach the topic. So I just thought if I prepare before and ask my teacher, then it will uh, uh, make my um, foundation strong mm -hmm. for the topic. Um, sometimes um, you can choose your lesson uh, depending on, you know, what you want to be taught through Cambly, um, especially if it has to do with grammar. We have a library that we can that you can look at and choose and pick which um, which lessons you would like. I've had some students come in and they will give me a website or a link uh, as to what lesson they want to go. And okay. they will give me the link in the chat box and I'll go you know, over it with them. Okay. So either way, some lessons range okay. from 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, um, whatever length that you want to do. Mm hmm. Okay, uh, what do you, what, um, uh, you are talking to me, uh, uh, can you tell me what is my level in English, like uh, A1, A2, B1? Your level? Um, your level is pretty, is very good. You're very fluent. You know how to pronounce your, uh, your English words, especially nouns versus verbs. Um, and you're using them in the right context. Um, you're using, um, Larger words, two or three syllable words, which I find appropriate. 
Uh, I'm not talking about just that topic, but overall, whatever I'm communicating with you. Uh, what about my pronunciation and my English level? Because uh, for IELTS, I think it needs uh, C1 or C2 like that, and I want to go for mm -hmm. IELTS. So. What, okay. Um, I would say that um, you would be... Now, I, I'm, I'm familiar with uh, uh, intermediate. I say intermediate, advanced. So I would say, based on what I'm hearing from you now, that um, you would be um, considered advanced, you know, in in your knowledge of English. From what little bit I've heard today, you're you would be considered advanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Say what? <laughs> say what? Oh, you can't see me. Oh, I'm I sorry. Oh, okay. I'm um, okay. Okay. And so, do you enjoy Cambly? Do you like it? But you yeah, know, yeah. that's why I joined Cambly. I saw many videos on YouTube. So I got tempted and I thought, why not to join Cambly and record mm -hmm. the videos? Yes. Mm hmm. So, mm -hmm. Um, um, and I, I found oh, okay. Okay. Um, does anyone else in your family speak English or is it just you? Oh, the I only one. Need. Okay. So uh, are you needed for your profession? Yeah. Uh, I'm working as a, I'm working in a school, but not as a teacher. I'm in an administration okay. department. Okay. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's good that you, you're trying Cambly and, um, like I said, next time, if you want us to go into the library together and we can get more grammar, um, we can work on grammar together if you would like. But um, your examples were spot on. Um, you gave good examples. So um, I was very comfortable with what you said and everyone was correct. And you put emphasis on the words where they should be. So um, I feel that you did a very good job. Mm-hmm. Okay, ask me some questions if you want. Just um, to how long have you lived in India? Oh, I'm okay, born. okay. Have you have you ever traveled outside? No, no. Okay, no, no. okay. And uh, do you have any favorite English countries that you like? Oh, okay, England. okay, okay. So, all right. Uh, and do you prefer the British? accent or the American or the Canadian or the Australian? Uh, British accent because the uh, origin of the English language mm -hmm. is uh, British and uh, uh, many countries follow mm -hmm. uh, British English and uh, as I'm working in an education field, so edu our uh, education system follows uh, British English, British phonetic. So okay. Okay. And um, so, you, would you like to visit England one day? Definitely, I would like to travel all okay. over the world. Okay. Okay. It sounds interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so, you've been speaking English for how long? How many years? Uh, actually, I'm learning English uh, when I was a kid. I okay. In school. But uh, uh, but but our education system uh, didn't focus on the uh, spoken language. They just uh, focus on the academic writing exam and uh -huh. score the mark. So we didn't get an opportunity to uh, speak. Uh, but uh, when I grown up and uh, when I started working in a school, then I realized that uh, it's necessary to improve the English. And then I started uh, mm -hmm. working towards it. But I didn't uh, really uh, take much effort to improve my English. But since lockdown, okay. I got the free time and I started. Okay. Well, I think, I think that you're um, very smart to um, keep your English skills on point. And um, I think you're, um, that your profession is a very good one. Um, you're in the educational field and there will all be, always be a demand for um, the English, you know, language. So uh, I think you're on the right track. And tell me, do any does does anyone in your family speak English? Is there anyone uh, in your 
home area, your hometown that you can speak English with on a daily basis? Uh, no, there is nobody in my hometown, but uh, yeah, I have some friends uh, whom um, I can speak with. Uh, so I speak on phone calls only. And uh, one of my friends, she is from Delhi, and uh, she want to learn American phonetics, American accent. And she was asking me about, uh, uh, ask your family tutors that uh, is there any uh, tutor available right. to teach American accent, American, American phonetics. Uh, so she would like to join the family. Otherwise, uh, she was thinking, uh, especially she wants to learn the American accent. Okay, American and so, accent. so is there any is there any provision to learn uh, phonetics and accent? Ma, if just pick American. an American um, um, tutor, you know that you find teacher, uh, find one from um, America or find one from Canadian. Canadian and America, America, American are very similar. Uh, we're very similar in our, in our accents. Okay. Yes, we're very similar. It's hard to tell the difference okay. many times. Mm -hmm. Do you listen, do you uh, watch American movies with subtitles? Uh, yeah, sometimes not much. I, I just watch one or two movies, but I prefer British because, uh, uh, we are not so good at English, so I just thought if I, I'll watch, I, I may pick up the accent because we do not uh, pronounce R in British accent, then there is a difference in phonetics also, like uh, we say can't, we say can't, nasty, mm -hmm. nasty, uh, that kind of difference is there in the mm -hmm. pronunciation of words, so I'm a little bit afraid that if I listen to... Uh, American English, I may mm -hmm, pick up mm -hmm, that accent mm -hmm. or that phonetics. So I avoid little bit because I'm not good at much good at English. So I thought I should mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. and then if I watch any accent, then it's okay. But I can understand even every accent. Uh, American, Canadian, mm -hmm. Australian, British, Pokey, everything I can understand very well. There is no mm -hmm. problem in understanding. I don't want to pick up because what we listen, what is mm -hmm. going in our uh, ear, mm -hmm. what is going in our head. Uh -huh. so I understand. Things. Yes. Um, uh, as we say in English, we're, we we all know each other. And what, however we say it, it, we understand what each other is saying. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we, we know what we're saying to each other. But um, I, I think that you're doing very well. And um uh, your knowledge is very good, and my, I really wish you the best in the future. Your English is, as we say, uh, I will uh, spot on. It's uh, it's it's very good. It's very good. Um, just continue. And uh, give me some, give me some suggestions. Say what to now? Develop my English. Give me some tips to develop my English. I would say, um, well, okay. since you. Since you really want to continue with British English and you don't want the American um, <laughs> accent, I if this is what your true desire is, uh, on Cambly, if you can find uh, more British um, speakers, uh, tutors, and you want to follow the British example, um, uh, have a lesson with them if this is what you truly desire. And also look at British films, YouTube. Uh, you want to keep that accent. This is what you're used to. And this is your preference. By all means, go that route. Stick stick with what you feel comfortable with. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because I'm an American. So <laughs> I'm not British. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you so much. And Oh yes. Could you understand uh -huh. me clearly? No problem. Could you uh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My yep. I understood it was quite it was done very well. Yes. Mhm. Mm and your examples were very good. I could tell that they were very um they were thought out very well. Your sentences were were very good. Yes. Mhm. Mm now 20 seconds. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Only. Okay, so, and you take care you and be much. safe. Be safe. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.